All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honor to our apostles, the elders of the Great Millstone, they rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this true doctrine across the four winds of the earth in all truth and in sincerity. I'm Lamad Ariyah from the Mississippi Count. Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson. And um, this lesson is going to be going into division, right? Because the Lord is bringing a lot of division on the face of the earth. And that division is going to start or it's going to be from the top when it comes to these elites all the way down to the bottom with the lowest level of Edomites, you know, Jake's even so even Jake's. All right. It's going to be division from the top to the bottom, the Senate's, you know, within the government, everything. Cause the Lord is going to do a, a, a sifting throughout the earth, if you will. He's going to do a, a separation throughout the earth. And within that separation is going to be causing friction. You know, because as the scripture goes into, can two walk together? At least they agree. And when you have people who don't agree, that disagreement sometimes brings division. Sometimes it brings violence. Sometimes it brings strife, you know. It's multiple avenues that division can bring, but division in this uh, time is going to bring chaos. All right. So we're going to get a few scriptures here. And I'm not going to, Lord willing, this edifying, but I'm not going to try to make it too long. It reads, um, we're going to go into, we're going to go into the book of Luke chapter 12, starting in verse 51. Um... Okay, start Luke 12, verse 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. All right? From hence, for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. All right? So there's going to be a lot of division. And, and a lot of this division... It's coming in so many different shapes and forms and fashions, okay? Because you got, we'll just start out one of the freshest ones with, with uh, Kanye West or Ye he called himself now, with the, uh, the White Lives Matter shirts, right? You got so-called celebrities who, with it and and against it, some saying they support him, some saying that he's tripping, they not supporting, all right? That's causing division as well as has how it's impacting. That's your average Jake's man. Some, some average Jake's are supporting them and with them, some against them. All right. You got the whole thing with, uh, Charleston white. He's going in on particular artists, rappers or whatever. And, and you got some people support that. Some people is with it. You got some people who hate the man. Some people who's totally against it. Right. That's causing division amongst people. And this is all orchestrated and ordained by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, even as far as you go to the LBG alphabet community, right? Some people support it. Some people are, are call themselves, you know, Saying that it's it's cool either way, long they don't bother them or they don't bother them, and you got those who are completely against it, and you should be against it because it clearly states that you know that's that uh, how man the scripture clearly states that man should not lie with uh a man like he lied with woman, for they both are abominations should be put to death, right. But you got those who are cool with it. But that causes division. That causes division. Okay? So it, it, this division is going to continually 
intensify to the point people are going to be at each other's throats. We already see the different um, uprisings going on throughout the globe. Why, why, why do you have uprisings because of a, a, a disagreement or something has happened that you don't approve of and you have a group of people who get up and march against it, right? So then you have maybe law enforcement out there or some, but there's a division between the people and the law enforcement. Law enforcement to try to regulate or, or contain or control the crowd. The crowd is trying to do what they want to do because they feel like they have freedom or, or a, a type of liberation to do what they want to do. And there's a, a clashing because of that division. Okay. People be getting hurt. People be getting killed. People getting arrested. But this is a global thing that's going on and it's happening on every level. Because the Lord is visiting the earth and he's stirring things up. The scripture said, think that he's not come to bring peace, but uh, he tell you division, man. Because the Lord is getting ready to come back and set up a righteous kingdom. And it's that saying, uh, uh, divide and conquer. Because the Lord is going to have such a big division going on out the earth. By way of Esau, because Esau is nothing but a puppet. Satan is nothing but a puppet. Okay, these devils are nothing but puppets of Yahweh Bashimi Abishai. Doing the beard of Yahweh Bashimi Abishai, whether they know it or not. Okay? Let me get back into the scripture. There shall be father divided against son, and son against the father, the mother against the daughter. And the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. And that's a house divided. That's a house divided. Okay. So those those just are pretty much your average people, man. Your average everyday Joe Schmoes, your average everyday Jakes, who houses are gonna be divided, and brothers are gonna be going through that situation. Some brothers, man, we have families who don't agree with what we're doing, man. Doing the work you have by Shimmy Shah. Think we're crazy. Think we're, you know what I'm saying, irrational. And then we have some who believe in what we do. Who support what we do. Or accept what we do without any kind of uh, uh, backbiting, if you will. Okay? But at the end of the day, it's all going to be division. You're going to, well, hey, we're, we're, there's going to be race wars, right? There's going to be um, gender wars. There's going to be uh, uh, class wars. You know? It, it, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot going on. Jacob's trouble. Okay? The Lord is finna bring heavy judgment on this place. Okay? If you go up on this, let's go up on him and read this one scripture. Okay, this is the book, again, the book of Luke, chapter 12, starting at verse, I'm gonna read verse 49. Okay? It reads, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what? And what will I, if it be already kindled? And that's okay. So the, we know that there's going to be a lot of uh, um, chaos going on. It's going to be things burning up. Cars going to be burning up. People going to be burning down. Buildings burning up. You know, establishments and all those things. But that fire is intensifying the division, man. Because the, the division of the people... It's going to help bring these particular fires, man. You're going to have someone who own a business supporting something that someone else doesn't support. And they're going to be hey, throwing cocktail bombs, burning them up. The buildings, burning up vehicles. You know, it's going to be dead by the street. Maybe somebody is going to be seen that they've been burned to a crisp, burned to death. 
burned alive. The scripture goes into there's going to be a time like never before since there was a nation. Okay. Jacob's trouble is going to be a very bad time, a very evil time. And the Lord has sent forth his prophets to warn the people about these things. And that's what we're doing, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh from the teaching of our apostles that is on down, brothers are delivering a message to the people, whether they hear or forbear, to repent, you know, or be destroyed. That, that's it, dry and cut. All right? And the ultimate, the, the, the ultimate thing that divide, is going to divide the people are the, are, is the truth. Okay? This word. Because at the end of the day, people want to discredit Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? They want to act as if science is the reason for everything. The Big Bang Theory is the reason for everything. You know? That their particular God is the reason for everything. But the Lord is going to set the record straight. The Most High is going to give the green light to Yahweh Shai. And it's going to be known that he is the son of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And he's going to deliver his people. And it's going to be known that he is the true power. Okay? He is to be worshipped. He is, he is to be praised. Okay? And he's going to sit on the throne of David and rule a righteous kingdom for all eternity. But right now, the Lord is shaking shit up. All right? Get another scripture here. Um, let's go to, um, let's go to, what I just bring up? That was the book of Luke. It was something else I wanted to get. Okay, we're going to go to the book of Matthew. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, starting at, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, starting at verse 25, and Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and and said unto them, speaking about these uh, Pharisees, okay, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or a house divided against itself shall not stand. So, this rulership is not going to stand. These other nations they're going to be dismantled because some's going to side with uh, America. Some going to side with Babylon. So like some going to side with uh, Russia, you know, there's going to be a separation within these. Um, what's the word? Um, allies, you know, America got so many allies, but some of them are going to abandon that and, and, and support Russia, man. So, hey, that's that's a, a a house divided, man, or a nation divided, okay? And they're gonna be uh, coming against each other. You already have where these other nations, as the scriptures say, let the weak say I am strong. These these other nations don't fear America like they used to. You know, they're they're not at all because America got you know nuclear um, weaponry. They got it too. So they're ready to team up against the whore. Okay? They're tired of the bully. And you know, a bully, man, when you see these bullies in school or seen some movies talking about bullies, there's always one particular 
kid that's getting bullied notice the others one other kids is getting bullied and he'll bring them all together he'll get them somewhere they'll have a little small council and they'll talk so much to each other and they'll come up with a strategy to take down that bully man right and see and 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 Putin is that 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 kid who's tired of this bully and the other nations are gonna uh uh, uh gravitate to him and they're going to take down this whore. You know? Or they're going to begin to take down this whore. But at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai is going to uh, get that, that um, two for one, if you will, with Russia and America and the other nations in the midst thereof. You know? Because at the end of the day, it's all about Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. All things are created for him and by him, right? So all these nations. All these weaponries that have been given to these nations is, is for the, the bid of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai, for the will of the Lord, to do as he wants to do it. Okay? Verse 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? His kingdom is not going to be able to stand. This kingdom is not going to survive. You know, this this Babylon, America, the whore, it's going to be a desolate wasteland. No, no human is going to occupy these lands again. Going to dwell in this place again once Yahweh Shah destroys this place. Okay? And all these divisions is leading up to the return of Yahweh Shah. The place is going to be in complete chaos, complete turmoil, civil unrest. It's, it's just going to be bad. Primarily here in Babylon, but across the globe. That's why the Lord is bringing so much division. All this division eventually is going to turn from uh, a bunch of words in, in, a, in a little trigger play to all out warfare. OK, in these streets, in the homes of people, in the Congress and, and other uh, 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 land masses, man, other nations. Let's see, can I get another scripture right here? So, yeah, that, it's a lot of division going on, but hey, it's beautiful because that's what we want. We want this division to happen. You know, we, you know, these inflations, prices of food going up, gas is steady going back up, mortgages are going up, you know, people are getting put out their home. People are, are, are turning against the government. They know the government has no uh, uh, beneficial interest in the people. You know, you got people in such a bad case, but you got. America sending all these um, funds to the Ukraine, sending all these funds over there to uh, uh, Israel, which is our land, by the way, which is, is, is proof that those people over there are not the Lord's chosen people because the Lord is going to deliver us back to our land. You know, that's another video, but the point the point is uh remains the same that's 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 not those people over there are not the lord chosen people they're issues okay kind of sort of but um at the end of the day this earth is going to be full of division and that division is going to lead to Complete chaos, destruction, and, and and lead to the Lord and the heavenly host of angels coming back and finish the job, deliver the elect, 144,000 men from each tribe of the nation of Israel, 12,000 men from each tribe, Abaratazah, us men doing this work, and truth and sincerity are those men. The scripture said that the elect are scarce to be saved. Those missiles, man, are going to be bathed into the skies or bathed into the clouds before they come down to this place and destroy Babylon, man. 
everything that's happening is leading up to the return of Yahweh Shai, the deliverance of the elect and the righteous kingdom going forward. Okay. Get another scripture and I'm going to close it out. Okay. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. Yahweh Bashimi Shai, the Most High, is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Had he said, had he said, prophecy, man, the Lord said it's going to be, you know, earthquakes in diverse places, uprising of the people, famine, pestilence, okay? About the division, a house divided cannot stand. He will bring division, father against uh, uh, sons, uh, mother against daughter, mother-in-law, uh, daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law against son-in-law, okay? All these things the Lord has said was going to happen, what he was going to do, right? You know? And shall he not do it? And we see it happening. We see it happening. And when we finally see this place, this, this, this economy completely collapse, brothers, that should be a, a, a even bigger faith booster, man. Because that's, that's, that's another indicator that the Lord's word is faithful and true. It just said that he's not a man that he can lie. Neither the son, the heavenly father or the son. Okay. Or has he spoken and shall he not make it good? And the Lord is making it good. He's bound by his word and he's proven it. Every day we see in prophecies fulfilled. Every day we see in prophecies unfold. Okay, every day we see in prophecies approaching fulfillment. So we just have to pray the, to the Yahabashim Yahasha allow us to have the, the strength and endurance to keep on going, man. Because that famine of the word is coming. The, the Lord is going to take us off the internet. He's going to take us off the streets. And that door of mercy, that window of repentance will be shut. And the, hey, and hey, when that MOTB is implemented and, and, and World War III get kicked off, we know the rest, man. Yahweh Shai is going to crack those clouds, man, with the heavenly host of angels. And hey, salvation, here we come. So, hey, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. Probably was a little bit all over the place, but Lord willing that the, the edification was there through the spirit. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.